Hi everyone, just a quick update. Um, we're down here doing a bee inspection and we put one of the old honey frames that we took the honey from back in to replace a frame we took out. So this is after it's been spun, the bees will clean it up and uh, use any of the honey, store it somewhere else. The reason we took a frame out just pop that one back in, I'll show you in a minute. We put the lid back on. We got still eating their food from the harvest that we we gave them food um, to replace the honey we took. This is full of the essential vitamins and minerals that they need. Okay, the reason we took this frame out is because of this wax moth. And see the way it's eaten all the honeycomb and laid all its larvae in here. We've cleaned the bottom of the frame, bottom of the box out, but this is all capped honey. The side's a bit dirty now. See the way the wax moth? It's only on this one frame. So hopefully now what we'll do is clean this off as best we can and then put the whole frame in the freezer. Which will kill off any other little grubs or anything that could be possibly living in there. And then we can put it back in the hive in the future. Okay, um, while we've got our bee suits on, we've got a bit of a problem in the greenhouse, which is why it's such a mess here, because we haven't been able to get near this corner. I'll show you why. So we have uh, lots of paper wasps. It's still rolling, right? So now we've got the opportunity. somewhere out of harm's way for the minute. Right, I'm about to make the hornet trap. So we're using some very ripe pears. So we need to just sh shove everything into here. Got some nice ripe pears. It's a bit, bit squidgy. And a few Grapes as well, which I should just break up to make sure that they uh, attract everything. Getting in a nice load, to make sure we have a good fragrant mix here. This time of year, the hornets are after sugar because it's uh, near the end of the season, so things like sugars and stuff out in the wild are a bit scarcer, if that's a such a word. So they uh, actively seek out and as they say, we, they also will then be prone to attack our honey beehives because the bees are also in the process of storing up sugar for their winter. So that's that. We then have some water, which I should just... So this is an old trap that um, I'm just reusing. It doesn't need to be perfectly clean because the hornets don't really mind that. Put some water in there. I am then going to add a little bit extra sugar just to make sure that they uh, have that nice sweetness. Some of it will go in the pot. So 
I'm just going to get some more water, make sure there's plenty. Then putting in a little bit of vinegar, um, quite posh and balsamic vinegar actually. Um, and a little drop in there and our final ingredient so this is looks fairly grim our final ingredient is some washing up liquid because this helps to break up the surface tension so when a wasp or hornet goes in it will definitely break through the water and drain. So the bottle is just a five litre water bottle with a, a litre um, soda, soft drink bottle, top cut off, homemade. So that's the funnel where the Hornet etc. will go in and we'll just fix a, put the lid back on the original bottle and we put a string on so we can hang that up in the tree. So as you can see our beehives are here. And I've hung the hornet trap here. We'll come back in a few days and see how it's going. I've changed my mind and put the hornet trap right here in front of the hives because I don't know if you can see it. But there are hornets actively hunting bees and flying off with them. And I haven't got a bee suit on so I can't get any closer to film. You can see there's one now hovering in front of the nest. Oh, one just flew past me. You see what they're doing? They're trying to catch bees. They won't land because the bees will sting them. But they hover there and try and catch a bee in flight. I'll try and get a bit closer. You see that? Thanks for watching everybody. See you on Friday. And please like and subscribe to our channel.